we couldn't have a forecasting show without looking to the stars to see what they have in store for us. 2020 certainly wasn't what we'd been expecting, and nobody is sure what's going to happen in 2021, except perhaps astrologer Susan Miller. And Susan joins me now from New York. Susan, lots of planetary activity. Does that all go well for 21? Saturn and Uranus are clashing. Saturn rules all things that must be preserved from the past. Landmark buildings, Buckingham Palace, old, old beautiful uh, letters from George Washington or the Queen, um, uh, estate jewelry. Uranus wants to bulldoze everything and create new and innovative. Now, some things will be obvious. Oh, we need to keep this and we need to change this. But it's that gray area that all year these two planets will be banging and clanging and thumping around the heavens and their birth pangs for a new way of life. It's rebuilding and there's a public forum. We're going to decide what stays, what goes. We don't have to go back to our old life and I don't think that's even a possibility. We will create a new life that's more fitting with the technology we have now and what we want to do with our time. Technology helps us be more and more and more productive in less and less time, Moore's Law. And with Uranus so strong, also the planets are moving into Aquarius. Aquarius is a sign of groups working together. Uh, they don't care who gets the credit and they're saying the reason the vaccine came out so fast is nobody cared who got the credit. We had an emergency and, and the U.S. was working with England, with Germany. You know, people were working in teams and you're going to see a lot of that in the future. And people will not rely on the government for stimulus. It will be more philanthropy and people helping people on any scale that they can because Aquarius is very Wonderful. humanitarian. Thank you so much for telling us what is going Thank to come you. in 2021.